Okay, hi and uh, welcome to this webinar on running your own meditation group in your community. So we're just waiting for a few more people to come on. Um, we've got a number of people. Hi Jess, hi Karen, hi John from different parts of Australia. We've got a few people from the UK. Oh, and we've got Roger from the US. Man, that must be middle of the night there. So over in California. Hi there. So a couple more people coming on. Uh, we do have Josh helping us tonight. So you may see a uh, chat from him and uh, we may take some questions at the end if you've uh, got any questions. But uh, we will get in and uh, as, as we go forward, uh, we'll let some other people join. So again, welcome to this uh, webinar. It's uh, my pleasure to talk about meditation. It's my passion. So whenever I get to talk about meditation, especially with like-minded people like you, I get excited. And just to give you a background of uh, myself and, and the company, I think we start uh, with our vision. So my vision is really to see meditation groups in every town and suburb around the world. And the reason for this is because, look, there are a lot of problems with the world, as you know, and I believe that meditation can help. Now, we know meditation can help ourselves. It can help ourselves uh, improve our mental health, our physical health, our spiritual health, our emotional health. Uh, but I believe it's more powerful than that because I think ultimately the problems in the world, of course, are due to a whole lot of things, corruption, greed, environmental degradation. But if you take it all the way back, it stems to individuals and in particular individuals' minds that are consumed by this need of desire and greed and, and, and you know, power and all of that. And the one thing that I've seen that with people who meditate, they become a lot less needy, they are satisfied with less, they don't have to play the power games anymore. And so if we're going to get rid of problems in the world, the very root cause is people's minds. So as well as being helpful to, <clears throat> um, as well as helpful to individuals like yourself, I think that <clears throat> meditation can play a role in making a better world. So my vision to facilitate that is to have a, at least a group everywhere so that you're never too far away from a, a group if you have the inclination to want to learn meditation. So with that being said, um, how do we do this? I'll move this camera over a little bit over here. Um, of course, we can't do this on our own. Um, we're going to need lots and lots of meditation leaders. And fortunately in the world today, there are some great meditation leaders. I have studied uh, with a number of wonderful teachers, each in their own way, trying to uh, enhance the community of meditation uh, leaders. So uh, in my own small way, I want to empower as many um, meditation groups as I can. Um, and my aim is a thousand people. Uh, maybe more to running meditation groups all over the world uh, and then I'll be playing my part in this movement towards more peace and uh, meditation and uh, more open-heartedness in the world today so that is uh, our aim here at Skillful Mind and in order to facilitate that I've given some thought as to what does someone need in order to start a group so they need the background, the teaching, uh, which we've provided. Uh, we want to make that program a low cost entry so that you can start a uh, meditation group for maybe $10 per person in your local community, easy, easy to access. We also want to make it uh, profitable. So we want to take the work out for you and give you all the lesson plans as well. But we also want to make sure that you have the marketing expertise uh, to attract people so that you at least cover your costs. Now, in if you've watched previous videos, I will say if you're going to run a meditation class, 
you know, don't expect it to, uh, you know, cover your giving up your day job because you're not going to make enough money uh, to support yourself full time. If you go into it fully and start running retreats and workshops and work for departments and things like that, you may turn it into a full time business. But to start with just running weekly classes, I, I think that what I'm trying to attract is people with passion for meditation who have uh, had their own lives changed by meditation and want to give it to the community. But at the same time, I don't want you to give away your time for free. Uh, so let, I will take you through exactly what you need to do in order to get enough um, customers, people coming to your classes and that they pay in order for you to cover the cost of this program and also the venue and perhaps anything else that you want to, uh, incidentals, posters, things like that that you might want to use to advertise. So that's the aim of the program. Now we help you with everything uh, and not just the theory. So I know there are companies out there and I'll get back to that, that provide you with a huge amount of theory. And at the end of it, they say, right, we've given you all the, the teachings and the lessons, go for your life. And I have a lot of those people come to me and they say, look, I've done all the theory, I've got my degree, but I don't actually know how to run a group. And so we uh, deliberately have a quite a short theory um, course. I've condensed it right down into as little as about 12 or 13 hours. And on the back of that, we give you an assessment. Now, I'm not saying that it's the most thorough course in the world, but it does give you exactly what you need to do, very tight on uh, you know how meditation works, why it works, how to do it, what its benefits are, and things like that, so that you understand meditation, and then you have the teaching on how to teach a class. Now, once you're teaching, my hope is you'll be motivated and you may want to do more theory, and of course, you're welcome to go on and do other courses or read other books, and that's great to expand your knowledge to become an even better teacher. But we'll, that's no excuse uh, to not start up a meditation group. I think that people, even with very little experience, can at least invite a few friends over and start meditating together, and that will encourage you to, um, you know, learn more. So that's help with everything, not just the theory. And as well as the support of your own people, uh, we know that... Uh, a team that works together uh, will go further. In fact, there's a saying, if you want to go fast, then walk alone. If you want to go far, then walk together with other people. And so we want to support you in the long run by obviously connecting with us here at Skillful Mind, but also connecting with all the other leaders in around where you live and also around the world so that we can encourage each other to keep going and uh, give each other ideas on what's working and not, not working. So those are the things that I feel are key in helping you start your own group. And that's what I've incorporated in this course. So let's go on. Sorry, I'll get back to that in a moment. So let's go on. Um, so a little bit background on myself. Okay, now I'll just move this down a bit. Um, yeah, I'm not so much into talking about myself, but uh, I've promised others that I'll give you a bit of a background on where I come from. So I was actually a engineer uh, for 20 odd years, 22 years. Uh, and in that time, I was fascinated by meditation. So I would often work for a couple of years and then take three or four months off to go on a meditation retreat or learn about uh, spiritualism. Um, I studied lots of different traditions, Hinduism, Sikhism, Jainism, uh, Sufism. Uh, I'm also an advocate of just generally learning about the mind. Uh, the one that probably attracted me most was Buddhism. And so I got quite heavily involved uh, with Buddhism and I was living in Thailand. I got invited or I had a great friend who's a monk who's still my good friend today, Chatri Hemapanda, who runs a monastery now in Russia. Uh, but he facilitated me to become a Buddhist monk. So I actually spent time in the rainforests 
uh, of Thailand as a Buddhist monk, which obviously was an excellent experience. Um, I managed to get into a monastery with an American abbot uh, because although I speak pretty good Thai, um, I, I, the, I wanted to get into an English speaking uh, person to learn more about that. Anyway, so when I finished that, I kept meditating. I've done several long retreats um, and all different lengths. Uh, the longest one was nine months. A solitary retreat and I've been very fortunate to do that met lots of other teachers along the way and in the last uh, 10 years I've wanted to give back and so I became a teacher running retreats and eventually doing this program that uh, you see here today so uh, at Skill for Mind we've got a unique vision with uh, a global cause and, and good values at its heart and that empowers us to give all our enthusiasm to this particular program that we're doing. So the feedback I get is because I'm an engineer, uh, some people see my teachings as a little dry and that's okay. Um, but it's very practical because I like to see, you know, that A leads to B leads to C. Uh, I like to see that logic. And so that's how I teach in my teachings. And that attracts a certain um, often sort of Western skeptical minded people or people just want meditation in, in plain English. So I think it's important to teach that way because a lot of us in the West or well, all over the world like that style of teaching. Um, I try to teach in a very secular manner, not uh, too much uh, religion involved, but at the same time, there's amazing stuff in all the different traditions. So in our meditations, actually, if you get into teaching meditations, you'll see that we've got meditations from, you know, the Hawaiian tradition, the Christian tradition, the Sufi tradition, as well as Buddhist, Hindu, and just normal mindfulness meditations. Because you never know what uh, will gel with certain people, and you never know what wisdom is in, in, in tradition. So I like to give clear concise understandings which are uh, completely secular and then also uh, give opportunities for people to see different meditations from all around the world. As well as being a meditation teacher, I'm a life coach and an NLP trainer and so I bring a little bit of uh, modern day coaching into you, into teaching you as a uh, facilitator which helps you uh, to um, Put on a, a great class and stay motivated going forward. So in terms of meditation, um, I'm going to go into this more in the next slide, but meditation, I believe, is exploding at the moment. We're having a huge amount of in interest and I think it will become as ubiquitous uh, in the world as yoga is these days, where yoga is on every street corner or in every suburb at least, that's why I'm going to see um, meditation. And one reason for this is because Doctors, professionals, entrepreneurs, and everyone is uh, agreeing that mindfulness is becoming indispensable uh, in health, uh, in having a good career, things like that. So uh, a lot of the, the great leaders, the entrepreneurs around the world, you know, from Steve Jobs to, you know, everyone, uh, if you ask them about their routine, often they'll say, I do a half hour morning meditation or, or more. And so with that, it's, it's influencing people all around the world that this is critical to success in our um, marketplace and doctors are, are doing it for medical reasons. So I think with that said, in, uh, mindfulness is on the increase. And indeed, if I get some statistics here, you will see, again, I'll have to change my video, sorry, here. I'll change that up. Uh, you will see that Meditation, uh, these are statistics from the US and they're a little old. So between 2012 and 2017, we went from 4% to 14%, which is almost a four fold increase. Um, and that obviously is keeping on going. So if you look down here at children, there's a tenfold increase, which is really, really great. So uh, that's brilliant. Um, so you can see that there's an enormous uh, swelling of interest in meditation. Uh, well, this is the US, but obviously around the world, similar statistics uh, in many countries around the world. And uh, the health and wellness sector is uh, growing 
um, as a whole as well. And there's just something I've put in here as a bit of an aside because I was reading an article the other day that the health and wellness sector will in very much keep increasing while many other sectors uh, reduce uh, in the number of uh, employees. And the reason for that is that automation is taking over traditional jobs. So artificial intelligence and that things will um, gradually take over more and more uh, of our mainstream jobs, which will leave people more free. And when they're more free, they will, of course, uh, look to, you know, their own mental well-being. So I think that there will be an increase in people turning towards uh, well-being things and meditation like that. And um, the thing is, they are not going to want to be taught spiritualism and, and mental health and, and physical health and that by robots, they're going to be want, wanting to be taught by fellow human beings. So it is an area actually that I think is right to get into at this point in time. Now, to, just to show you how important mental health might be is uh, I read another article that said that with all the amount of information that's collected on our health, like for example via uh, these trackers like Fitbit or Apple Watch or whatever, there's a company now that can monitor your stress levels and actually predict whether you're going to, you know, almost, I don't know, have a breakdown or high stress levels. I don't know the details. But the point of this article was that uh, for some companies that are uh, have leadership positions or critical jobs like, I don't know, airplane pilots or things like that, it uh, might be required or suggested that you turn over your health data and they can see, you know, at what level of stress you're coping at in the previous weeks. And you can imagine if that was possible, uh, that if you've got two job applicants and one person has been highly stressed for a couple of weeks and is possibly pr prone to a breakdown and another person is... Um, you know, chilled out and zen-like, then they're going to have an advantage in a job. So I don't know whether it will come to that, but definitely I think uh, people's levels will be monitored more and may play a role uh, in going forward in, in your career. So that's just a bit of an off side and something to think about. The, the point is I strongly believe that the uh, health and wellness injury as a whole and uh, meditation in particular is uh, getting more and more interest and on the rise. So, having said that, when is the best time to start? Well, of course, it's a loaded question. I think you should start right now because people are looking for uh, meditation and a blend of uh, scientific but very user-friendly uh, forms of meditation which are open and uh, open to uh, all different traditions, but also free from any particular tr traditions. If if you're an avid, um, have a particular tradition of yourself, then that's great. But there's a lot of people out there that don't want spiritual dogma, but do want access to these teachings to evolve their mind. They want something that's easy to understand and based on contemporary models of the mind uh, that we understand, and also works in conjunction with other therapies. So a lot of people uh, doing um, other therapies like ma coaching, hypnosis, massage, Reiki, all of those things. So people want that for their own practice, but also if you're teaching, it's um, good for you to know that your meditation will dovetail nicely into whatever wellness uh, industry you're in at the moment. Uh, they also need to be varied and interesting. Some meditations have the same meditation every week. Uh, which is okay but doesn't suit everybody and then the other thing is with branding and identity so people are looking for recognized brands and we are hoping to make our brand identifiable uh, to help you as a leader be able to advertise uh, under the skillful mind brand if you wish to do so and by the way there's no um, requirement for you to do that if you have your own brand then you're still welcome to use our course and, and do it that way so, jumping in right now, and what are we going to be jumping into? So, I want to, on this webinar, give you a sneak peek behind the scenes of what is inside 
the uh, program. And to do that, we, uh, we have uh, different parts to the program. And the first part is the learning and certification package. The second is the resources vault. So if we go back to learning and certification, you get uh, put into a particular members area. And I'm just going to, and I'm just going to move across here to our learning and certification members area. So you'll see here there are five modules. The first three modules are to do with learning what is meditation, how it works, uh, why do you do it, what are the benefits, all of that sort of stuff. And we go through beginners, intermediate and more advanced in each of these modules. Uh, it gives you a lot of theory and makes you feel comfortable in teaching the meditation theory in general. Module four is all about teaching your class. So. Uh, well, I'll give you a quick look in here. So setting intentions, foundations of meditation, the two tools, different types of meditations, uh, escaping versus real life, um, how to sit, you know, uh, meditation on the breath, walking meditation, guided meditations, the stages of the path, so and so and so. So this one has 16 lessons. Each lesson is about 10 to 15 minutes. So you can see you could do this uh, in uh, one or two evenings. Um, then module two, three uh, is similar but a bit more advanced. Mo module four is about the class, structure of the class, the pricing, choosing a venue, how to advertise, insurance, that sort of thing. And module five is something that I'm currently working on. Uh, it's um, a, another way of looking at meditation, a deeper way, I guess a more advanced way of teaching meditation. Uh, and that is for your general knowledge. You don't have to look at module five, but it's there if you like, like to take that more in-depth look at meditation. And then we do have a leader's assessment, which tests you mostly on the first three um, uh, modules, I suppose, so that we can be ensure that you've actually watched the videos and understood them, and then we can give you that certification. So that is the learning and certification area. Probably takes most people around two weeks to go through and get their certificate. And then we also have uh, a resources section. And here, once you, this is really for when you're setting up your classes, uh, we have yeah, everything you could need. And every time a leader reaches out and says, oh, can we get another poster or can we have more information on this? We add it into this resources area. So you can see there's so many topics. In the admin section, we've got structure. We've got stretches to do at the beginning of classes, school term dates, how to cover your costs. A lot of stuff on marketing because let's face it, you need people to come to your classes, number one. Um, attendance records, more about insurance, taxation, um, suggested readings, how to build your own confidence, referral sites, um, promotional materials. So that's all admin stuff. Then we've got class plans. So in class plans, we've got a, a module for every single uh, month of the year, as well as one for introduction uh, to meditation but then every month we've got a different subject uh, meditation and mindfulness calming a wandering mind creating a meaningful life stress reduction overcome the obstacles uh, positive emotions for well-being so each topic each month we have a different topic which is handy for you to advertise and um, gets people along then we have another section on children's meditations and meditations for weight loss. So we're, we're putting out uh, actual like 10 week modules for people around specific uh, areas. Like for example, you can advertise uh, meditation for weight loss, or I've called it here peaceful weight loss, to shed weight in a peaceful manner rather than um, dieting or in conjunction with that, etc. Uh, we've got a kickstart package uh, which gives you one thing to do every single day to get your first eight to ten clients for over a week. Uh, we've got more on marketing. 
coaching calls. Uh, we do regular catch-ups every month and we record those and we cover different subjects. We also do interviews with leaders about how they've achieved success. And so you can hear that and, and copy those. Uh, we've also got uh, proposals, etc. So uh, those are the first two um, areas. And then the third area is expansion. So this is going beyond just teaching a community class. And we want to get help you uh, expand into running retreats, etc. Yeah, I've got here another members area, I think. Uh, let me, sorry, let me just open this up for you. So, yeah, we've got here how to run a retreat. Now, I've run about 50 retreats. Uh, so I kind of know what works and what doesn't and I want to mentor you if you're interested in running a weekend retreat or a one week retreat and that is a way to make a decent amount of money. You can typically make around $2,000 uh, or to $3,000 for a weekend retreat. Uh, workshops uh, that you could run, one day workshops. We also encourage you to do workshops to advertise this leaders program and we have affiliate programs for you to help us at Skillful Minds spread the word of meditation. We've got mindfulness in schools, mindfulness in corporate area, mindfulness in hospitals and retirement villages. Now I've done teaching at high schools and primary schools and just recently I did a, a, a primary school program for little uh, year twos and threes, so probably about eight years old, and I recorded all of that so you can see me teaching. But not only that, we actually have created even proposals, let me have a look at this, for you to have a look at. So, let me change this up. Here's our proposal for mindfulness in schools. And you can see it's a professionally done proposal, talks about the benefits. Uh, we here, see here some facts in Australia. We're actually doing another cut of this proposal, uh, which is all to do with the UK and then we'll probably do one for the US as well. So um, benefits for students, educators, for the school itself, etc., etc. And you can see here we've got a, a quite a long proposal with everything you could need to um, make proposals to schools in your areas. So it's all done for you. And we, in fact, we will write the proposal up for you. So just give us the name of the principal and the school and we can actually create this for you and we can give you value add so we can give teachers all the resources they need from our online um, library uh, to add value to your proposal to help you get into schools. Likewise, retirement homes, hospitals, um, we've got proposals for corporates. So here's the one for mindfulness for health. Uh, for this one's aimed at seniors and retirement homes, that sort of thing. So, as you can see, we want to make it as easy for you to uh, gain an income by doing what you love and teaching uh, meditation. And I'll just finish up. So, you'll have plenty of questions. There are some questions coming through. Uh, Okay, Indy says, where do I sign up? Well, that's great that you're keen to, to join us straight away, and we'll get to that in a moment. Um, and obviously, there's a few uh, questions on costs that are involved. So let me just move forward here. Oh, before I do that, um, just uh, I want to do a quick comparison on um, just a couple of other companies, but these are typical. Um, so... There are a number of companies out there that do train um, in allowing you to become a meditation um, teacher. Uh, many of those companies are done face-to-face. -face. So you go in and you train face-to-face. -face. Now this is great and by no means if you, if you can afford the, the money and the time, I recommend you do that. Um, Lifeflow is one here in my city. Um, but 
uh, just to compare, uh, the cost is obviously very high, both in terms of, I mean, typically they're about $5,000 and take one, maybe even two years to, to complete the uh, session. But um, that is great if you have got the, the time and m money. Uh, but of course, th it's not a low cost uh, entry. It's not online. So obviously you go and uh, do it at the place of residence, but you do get a lot of uh, support. Now, the one thing uh, which happens is uh, you, you don't so much get that much support in running your classes, particularly after you've got the degree. So that's the challenge that I wanted to take on um, and help with um, and give on, ongoing opportunities. There are other ones like Udemy, which are completely online and they are low cost, uh, quite very low cost sometimes, and uh, they have the online components. But being a big company, it's not very personal. So you don't obviously chat to the CEO of Udemy um, and you've got no one to resort to. So we're small enough and personal enough that we want to support you, uh, you know, literally by, you know, by ourselves. Uh, so you're free to call me anytime and have a chat about uh, how you can expand your group or if you've got questions about the group. And so we do provide that personal support uh, practical class support and ongoing opportunities uh, for yourself, but also to work with us here at Skillful Mind. So you might be interested in that. So uh, on the right there are a few key points, um, including the practical support we offer, the low cost entry, the accreditation and certification, and the worldwide community that we uh, key you into. All right, so moving on and the question of how much does it cost? So at the moment it is uh, approximately uh, 490 pounds if you're in the UK, uh, 870 or 670 if you're in Australia or the US. Um, they will increase, we will eventually go to 990 pounds, not all at once, but in steps. Uh, but at this stage, those are the costs. And you have a choice of paying um, over time, like on a, a month, a month by month basis. So it's, uh, let's say, £49 a month for 18 months. So you can see that if you do uh, are able to pay a lifetime um, purchase upfront, then it is cheaper for you to do that. Um, but if you can't do that, we can start you off uh, on a monthly program and you can already start running your classes and obviously get people to come to your class to help pay for that. Now, uh, there is also, I will mention, an upgrade option. So if for the first couple of months you want to partake in the um, payment plan and then you want to say, right, I've got the cash now, I've got the confidence, I've got a bit of money behind me, I want to just pay it off, you can do that. And uh, there's a strategy where we give you 50% credit on everything you've uh, paid so far, so you get a small reduction on uh, the lifetime membership area. So you can start off doing some payments and then upgrade. Um, so those are the costs involved, and we can do credit card or PayPal um, or even bank transfer if that suits you. So what to do next? How to find out more? Well, we encourage you to uh, chat to one of our representatives. So uh, below this video, I am going to put in links. We have got reps in Australia, in the UK and in the US. So you can find a time zone that suits you. Um, if you can only make it in the evenings and your rep in your country uh, doesn't do that, feel free to book in with any of the reps that suit your time zone. Hopefully you should be able to find one that suits you. And that way uh, you can ask us any questions and we would really love to get to know you because we want to make a, uh, uh, a cohesive team. And so we'd like to get to understand what you're planning, how it's going to fit into your business so we can make recommendations on the way you can go forward and uh, we can help connect you in with other leaders and tell you what's on offer. So please, down below, click on the uh, rep representative to book a time to chat with us and they'll take you through the process. Um, and then if you're keen, you can follow the links uh, also to sign up online or you can simply sign up over the phone as well. So that is the end of our webinar. So I'm uh, happy to open up to some questions now.
Josh has taken some questions. So how long is the, the, the program? And is it video based? Yes, it is. Uh, so it's self paced. So you can take the program um, in your own time. Um, so you can do it all in one weekend if you want or space it over uh, a time. Um, and yeah, do we have uh, lifetime access to upgrades as well? Yes. So there are, um, we are adding more content all the time and you will have full access to that uh, forever. So as we uh, increase the price, the, the price will increase, there's more stuff, but if you get in early, then, then you get that um, amount of material. Um, and okay, so that's all the questions so far. Just waiting to see if there's any more questions. Can we help? Uh, someone's suggested that they've got a couple of schools to, to go to, so that's great. All right. Well, look, uh, someone's uh, signing up straight away, so uh, good on you, James. Thank you for doing that. I look forward to having you on the other side. And anyone else is welcome to sign up um, later today or give us a call. Great. All right, well, look, we'll finish the uh, recording there. Um, here is some contact, com, contact information to our website. And if you want to contact me directly, you can feel free to do that. There's my mobile number. And I just want to thank everybody for taking an interest in uh, Skillful Mind and in the meditation program and in spreading meditation in this world um, in general. Uh, so thank you for that and I think together we can do some great things for the world and do something which is enjoyable, which we love, which we're passionate about uh, as well at the same time and make some profit on that, which is always good too. All right, so thank you very much and I look forward to speaking to you all uh, in due course.